What's up everyone? What you're looking at right here are my old GBB cage on the left and the new one on the right. Um, I did a transfer the other night, same night I upgraded my Peak and Serides cage. I just didn't catch video of it. It was late, I was tired. And I just didn't feel like going through the trouble of trying to hold a camera and do it all at the same time. Anyways, uh, so here was his old cage, just a regular critter keeper. I'll turn it to the side so that it fits easier. And let me move this one out of the way. So here's what it looks like in here now after the rehousing. That's one of my homemade hides I made for him. It was nice and round, like perfectly round. And it was sitting in that corner from side to side, like a regular size cave covered in eco earth, looking really nice, like my other ones. Of course, he over time decided to stretch it out and web the crap out of it from side to side like that. Water dish, he always filled it with dirt and would web it down just like this. It'd be under everything. This whole thing was webbed up crazy in there. I had to rip it all up to get him out. And uh, he had the fake plant here, which is now in there. So let me just get this out of the way and just show you some stuff what I did. So let's just look at his current cage. Alright, now um, I'm going to talk a little bit about rehousing NET right now. Now, I'm not going to, of course, I already did the whole rehousing itself, so I'm not going to talk about how to get them out or move them or anything like that. I'm going to talk about things to help them get more settled once you do rehouse them. Oh, uh, first thing. Like I said, that plant was in there, and have you seen my old videos of him feeding vids and all that? That plant right there, that was in his old cage. I added in that one and that cork block there. And what I did was, I took that one, which was completely webbed down. It's still covered in web if you look at it. I wish this light was angled better. Anyways, it was like completely covered in substrate and webbing. So what I did was I took that and I threw that in there just because it was part of his home and he's been in there for so long with it. Pretty sure he knows it says to help him feel like it's his own territory when putting him in here. Also, I, I used of course new substrate and all, but I took the very top layer of his substrate, which was all webbed together of course, rolled it up and kind of spread it out right along this corner here. And right away, that should have gave, given him the feeling that, you know, more like it was his own home. And, uh, yeah, I did that. Uh, I put all new substrate, put his old stuff on top, put that plant in there. And um, within hours, all that webbing you see now was already done in there within hours. He actually had a lot more webbing around this area because he actually molted only a few hours after me putting him, um, of me putting him in there. A couple hours later, I checked up on him when I woke up, took a nap, woke up, and he had molted. And I thought that was pretty cool. It's like he was holding out, and he felt more comfortable. Kind of like what I said about my B-Bomi sling in that other video. And I haven't really seen him stretched out yet to see how much he's grown. But I guess I'll see him eventually, of course. He looks a little bluer abdomen lost some of the stripage like you can't see them as much you can see you can still see the black but the stripes don't show as good as he is to and I think he's pretty comfortable in there to have molted right away and as you see I don't have a little water dish currently what I'll do is I'll wait a little bit till he's um, a little more settled in wait till he does most of his webbing see the areas that he leaves open and then I'll put a dish there for now, I'll just continue to like spray down on one side and da heavily damp it. And he, he has no problem drinking from there. Every time I water, he pretty much will drink some. But, you know, he feeds pretty good. He eats nice, juicy dubia. Keep him moisturized, anyways. I am going to wait to see where I should put the water bowl. If I put it in there now, I'll regret it because I'm just going to be trying to dig it out from the same spot, covered in web, probably upside down, filled with substrate again, like always gets pretty annoying after a while. 
So yeah, man. During rehousing, if your tea doesn't look comfortable, try taking something that they basically signed as their own and put it in there with them. Give them a sense of it being their own territory. Probably settle in a lot easier. A lot of people I hear that they rehouse their teas and then their teas are restless or they stay in one spot and don't ever move. But they were never like that in their old home. Well, that means they're probably just not settled yet. Having a hard time adjusting, you know, rehousing for a tea, you know, you're taking away their home and giving them something new, so it's like a person moving. It'd be very stressful. Just make them feel as comfortable as possible. And try not to bother them so much afterwards, give them time to settle in. I'm only doing this for the video right now. I watered him last night, and this is my first time bothering him since. I showed you him just now in my other video that I just shot minutes ago. The LP molting vid. But I didn't really bother him. I just picked up the cage, said that I was going to check him out in a minute, put it back. And then this is me checking him out, talking to you guys right now. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to show him, show his cage. And if I check back in like a week, you guys will see. Or even by the time I feed him in a few weeks. A couple, it's like I'll feed him probably in two weeks or so, two to three weeks. You guys will see that um, he'll probably do some major heavy webbing in there. And this enclosure is a lot taller than what he's used to. The last one he had was, you know, Critter Keeper. And like I just showed you, you can see the height difference. Started from here. This one's a nice inch and a half taller, maybe. But even besides that, it's got a lot more space that's not occupied by substrate. I think he'll web it up pretty nicely. Anyways. That's it. I'm going to leave this guy alone put him back. Talk to you guys later, man. Hit me up with some comments, rate, subscribe if you already haven't. And if you did not watch this video in HD, put it from the beginning, click HD, and watch it again. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, for all future advice, just watch all my vids in HD. It'll look a lot better. Alright, later, guys.